Hey, you. And here we have the results. So today, we are back at GPA Grayback. As you can see, a little different than last time, not in a massive hole, right in the center of the creek. And you can see there's definitely some nice sized rocks out here, even though we're maybe not on a hard bend or anything, still looks pretty ideal. Now yesterday I got out here at about four o'clock in the morning, so I didn't do any filming, but I did test a couple spots out. I went down the ways a little way. There's a section somebody worked their freaking butt off and got down to some serious clay. I tested that, vacuumed it up, literally not a speck. They know what they were doing. However, I was using the metal detector and I hit on a piece of iron and went right down in here and this little crack and stuck this out. And I probably got 50 colors out of this one little spot. Uh, one pretty decent flake given the size of the gold here in Grayback. So yesterday after that, I started clearing out this area, pulling back all the gravel. I vacuumed that up the bigger section that you can see that's down to the bedrock. I didn't get nearly what I got per foot out of that initial crack, so the section wasn't as good. Obviously, you can tell that's a nice little uh, crack going perpendicular to the flow of the water, so that's always what you're looking for. Whereas these, as you can see, kind of flow with the way the water would be running down here, so it's not surprising that they didn't accumulate as much. So that's gonna be my plan, is I'll finish clearing this out just because I've already started, even though the results weren't that great. I also haven't dry washed it yet. And there is a lot of people that are saying that, you know, the, the gold out here is really just the flood gold on the top six inches foot of the dirt when you're out in the middle of the creek like this. So, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if we end up actually having a pretty decent result in the, the gravels here. 10, 10, so 20, 30, 32, maybe 33 gallons of dirt already classified down to half an inch. So yeah, hopefully this is gonna go well. Gonna get the electric leaf blower running. Got my Jackery 1000 up there. And then once I run that, I'll go grab the solar panels and hook those up so we can have infinite power. gallons run twice cost me like 33 percent obviously if I didn't have to run it twice because the dirt wasn't damp I'd be a lot better off but now I'll throw on the solar panels it's midday so we'll uh, hopefully keep it recharged and basically not run out any power over the next few days if I'm diligent about it I've, I've never run out uh, running three days in a row so <laughs> Have the results from our 39 gallons classified to half inch not horrible but not great either what that tells me is I shouldn't waste too much time with the overburden given the amount of effort that took so I'm gonna stop classifying even though it is damp I don't want to waste too much time with it I'm just gonna knock through the overburden and then once I get down to the bottom then I'll probably rerun the tailings twice don't forget one of these, huh?
Don't be the dude that can't breathe anymore because you're too stupid and too tough. Yeah, not fun. There we have the results from vacuuming, maybe like three by three section. Probably equivalent to the 39 gallons from earlier or close to. Definitely some bigger flakes in there and one little wiry piece. I have yet to run that dirt that I moved to get down to the bottom to vacuum. So we'll have to see what it turns out like. Now I'm curious. Here we have the results from about another 39 gallons, except this time it was not classified. So a heck of a lot less work and I would say a better result. Quite a few pieces of color in there. Yeah, I know what I'm gonna do for my strategy moving forward. It's definitely just gonna be shovel, run, shovel, run, and keep on going. So as we check out another nice way up of the flower gold from GPA Grayback, just want to remind you that I did a previous video also from the claim, a different style of prospecting though out of one of the large community dig holes. I gave you a great rundown on exactly where to dig, what kind of pay layers you're looking for, and what kind of results you can expect. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe so I know to make more content just like this. Also, make sure you check out the upcoming clips to get an idea of what that previous video looked like to see if you might have interest in checking it out as well for other advice on how to find more gold. Have you ever shown up at a GPAA claim and not know where to start? Well, I'm going to give you the treasure map for GPAA Grayback. So what I'm digging here, there's a nice solid layer of pay gravels. It's maybe about a foot thick and you can distinguish it by these nice black gravels. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really impressed with those results. That comes from the 10 gallons worth of dirt. That is a really nice result, and there's a, a pretty solid piece right in the middle here. That's got a little uh, shape to it.